On this site, during the days of the Civil War, the North and the South clashed in their struggle to control Texas. Here's Chris Elliott with the Texas Historical Commission. It's a unique site in that it's where kind of a natural resources and cultural resources collide. You know, not only do we have the best founder fishing in the state of Texas, it's also uh, the grounds for one of the most significant Civil War battles uh, in Texas history. Now, most don't think of Texas when they think of Civil War battles, but perhaps that's because of what happened here on this site. When a wily group of men, led by an Irish saloon owner named Dick Dowling, kept back a Union force that was a hundred times its size. And it all happened here where Fort Griffin once stood, securing the entrance to Texas. What we have here is a small replica of Fort Griffin. Fort Griffin was established to uh, prevent occupation from the, the Federalists into Texas, Got it. up the Sabine River. If the Federalists or the Union would have captured the Sabine River, they could actually came into Texas a lot easier. And in September of 1863, the Union made a plan to do just that sending four gunboats and 18 ships to Sabine Pass, carrying over 5,000 soldiers. When they came into the pass, they saw this earthen fort, and they started a barrage on that fort. The barrage lasted for over an hour, no return fire, nothing. They thought that the fort was abandoned, so they just kept moving down the river. What the Union didn't know is the Dowling and 47 men were holed up in the fort, patiently waiting it out to lure the Union boats further upstream, and hopefully, get them close to the cannon targets in the river that they'd been training on for a month. One of the individuals, the seamen on the ship, noticed this weird marker in the river. And he noted that as they come up on this marker, that the port opened up. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they're, they're fishing a barrel right there, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. That ship rolled right up on it, and that's the Sachem. And then they just started that barrage for about 45 minutes. The Sachem gunboat was almost immediately sunk. And next, the USS Clifton was hit and wrecked on a sandbar. They rose the white flag and they were captured as prisoners Those of war. Were captured, yes. turn, causing the rest of the other 5,000. Yeah, to turn around and go back to New Orleans. Wow. So, yeah. This battle is actually still taught in war colleges today because of the cunning and patience shown by Dowling and his men. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm by no means glorifying the flawed cause of the Confederacy. But what's indisputable is that without this victory, no doubt there would have been much more bloodshed here on Texas soil. Sabine Pass remained a strategic point for coastal defense, even after the Civil War. And these bunkers were built during World War II to store up ammo for our ships safeguarding the Gulf of Mexico. Germans had submarines in the Gulf of Mexico ready to attack the continental United States. We don't think about that. That's crazy. I know. Ah, mosquitoes. Yeah, watch out. It's a different kind of artillery. It's nature artillery attacking us, mosquitoes. Nature versus the day tripper. <laughs> mosquitoes aren't the only wildlife you gotta look out for. You see, you see this little guy? Where? Well, look close, man. I, I, I don't know. Wait on it. Hey, he seems pretty brave. <laughs> hey, buddy. He don't care that I'm here. I don't gotta be the fastest one. <laughs> I just gotta be faster than this guy. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Oh, there ain't nothing to worry about with them little gators. They ain't gonna bother you unless you go trying to bother them first. <laughs>